now that I have all the bees moved in, um, I've been getting lots of emails about uh, people asking um, if I could show them what my winter shed's all about. So I'll show you guys, I'll just walk you through, I'll turn the lights on. Um, I just, you'll notice some hives with snow on it. I just finished moving hives in and the others have only been in for a few days. So uh, I can get away with uh, turning the lights on right now. Here's my main controllers. Uh, I have my uh, fan, uh, ceiling fan speed there. Uh, my light switches here. And these are my two uh, temperature controllers for my two ventilation fans. Uh, the bottom fan is my uh, uh, secondary fan. It's what it turns on at eight degrees uh, to help uh, blast through some air flows. And the top is my continuous uh, fan, which ramps up as the temperature increases. So I have it set at four degrees. I'm just going to uh, turn the lights on. I bolt it just in case someone walks in and turns the lights on because if the lights turn on while the bees are in storage, that can be a disaster. We keep them in darkness to uh, keep them in the boxes. Okay, so here is the winter shed, hives all stacked up. I'll just walk down the aisles just to give you perspective on what I got going here. Uh, so I have rows on rows of bees. Uh, they're stacked six high. And I have uh, 12 to 1400 hives in here, depending on how many. I haven't counted them yet. So I leave enough space down the aisle to push a broom because uh, through the winter, these bees, the dead bees will die and they fly out and onto the floor. So I like to keep the f shed fresh. So my windows I have in here, this is my hot room. So I have three windows in my hot room to help pull bees from the honey supers. But the windows here, we block off with aluminum foil and insulation just to keep all the light out. My air intakes are just, uh, uh, just ducting is what it is. And I've used some old oil drums to act as a shroud. Uh, so I have two two by two um, uh, air vents, air shafts, and there's two turns. So this is turning one way and then on the outside, these are pointed down, they're turning the other way. Uh, the reason for that is to uh, act as a light trap. So the light has to bend to be able to come through and it, this, these uh, ducts absorb all the light and allow adequate airflow through. My fans, which are controlled by the temperature modules, which I showed you earlier, uh, one is a continuous and the other uh, turns on and purges air. Uh, so I have the same set up here with uh, the vent shafts. Uh, I turn it one way this way and they're black and then they're turned on the outside this way just to help uh, trap the light. So I have 10 ceiling fans set up uh, just to mix the air within the shed. Nothing uh, fancy so the air comes into the building over here and these fans mix the air to make sure there's no layering happen and they're pulled out, the air is pulled out through the uh, vents over here. Um, it's very important to mix the air uh, in the shed uh, so there's no carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide um, air layering. So this is my winter shed. If you guys have any questions just email me and I'll uh, see, do my best to uh, respond to you. These guys were moved in, let's say, November 6th. Today is, I think it is. Uh, hopefully we move them out um, end of March. Sometimes we move them out in April. So that's quite a long time. So once I get all the bees inside, um, I close the door. And I close the door for winter. And what I like to do, it's one of my favorite times in the year, I turn off the ceiling fans, and I turn off all the fans, and what I do is uh, just stand in the shed and just listen to the roar of all these bees in the shed. And if I have, you know, give or take 10 or 5 or 10 million, but you know, 20 or 30 million bees in the shed, they're just kind of sitting here, nice and content, and just roaring. And I like having, uh, this is my one of my favorite moments. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but if you listen carefully. Okay, 
It's just a very awesome low, low pitch roar. Done.